Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Hope you're having an amazing time because I am. Actually, I am quite excited for today's talk and it's going to be how we de-stress and the connection of being one with nature and how it helps us physically and mentally and yes, emotionally. So as you know, if you have been following me, there's many, many days that I take pictures of the path that I walk and of course the trees, the foliage, uh, foliage, uh, clouds, um, and everything that I see on the path from the sun and the way it strikes. Actually, there are days that I put my earplugs on and I listen to podcasts, empowering podcasts, Sometimes I listen to relaxing music and there's days that I want to feel energized that I listen to two different things. One is I start with like salsa and music and everything to start my movement or believe it or not, there are days that I listen to my own audio recordings from stress no more, uh, feel relaxed. Uh, relax and unwind. There are days that I listen to my own exercise audio recording for drop weight, which is for losing weight. Yes, I have audio recordings. If you have never gone to my shop, this is the time for you to do and go and see all the products that I have that you can purchase, download, listen to, um, buy, read, and there are so many. I even have a 33 day journal that literally takes you from day one all the way to 33 days. And in 33 days, you can have a new habit. But most importantly, this journal is, it's like a self reflection. So someone asked me, why do you take pictures of trees and everything? Because this is what I believe. I don't know how you walk, but when I walk the path, although my dog is taking me out for a walk, from the moment I awaken and I do my stretch in bed and get out, get dressed um, and walk outside, it's like I become one with self. Because I truly believe that unresolved mental and emotional stress, it can lead to physical pain. So when I walk the path, I become one with myself. And yes, universe, God, the path, every step, I do a mantra. And mantra can be uh, um, an empowering word. It can be the word of the day. This morning was, I release what is heavy burdens on me. And a burden can be just about anything. Literally, it can be from stressors that you have, weight that you're carrying. Sometimes it's emotional weight. Sometimes it's heavy weight. Sometimes it can be just feeling blah and it's just heaviness and you can just drop that and every step moving forward it's like I release and let it go because as we walk we are releasing and letting go and there's times that I become so focused on just the footprints because Somebody else may have walked on that path and I wonder what's that shoe size? If there's dogs or coyotes, I look for signs like that. 
sometimes I see a swirl and I know there must have been either a snail or a snake going through. So I become very conscious on the path that I walk. And then when I take pictures of the sun, it's how it's reflecting through the foliage, through the trees. And I'm mesmerized with ever ending, never the same of the same exact tree and yet changing colors every day. You know, so many of my clients come to me and they refuse change. I just don't want change to happen. It's like resisting change. And I believe change is a ever constant thing in our lives. So I wonder, how do you cope with change? Do you welcome change in your life? Or are you one of those that resists change? You know, nothing is the same. I'm not the same. You're not the same. I'm not the same as yesterday, let alone an hour ago. Every cell changes. We develop new cells and we get rid of skin every day. Every time you wash your hand, you are getting rid of something and then you are cleansing something else. So we are like an evolution of change happening at all times. You may be going down the same freeway or the same path, but it's not the same. It looks the same. The cars are not the same. You even, you're not the same. Your hairdo is not the same. The exterior is not the same. Even the interior changes, but who you are, even that changes because every single day we learn something, we feel something different, our characters, habits, behavior changes. We are a constant change and we cannot stop this evolution, the cycle of change that happens every single day. It's a God-given universal thing. So why not embrace it? And yet be cognitive and aware and conscious of what you want to create in your life instead of just going with the flow. And I think that's where so many of us are feeling as stuck and thinking that oh, nothing in life changes. Um, everything is stagnant, everything is boring, or there is a wall, there is a block. You know, this is one of the things magic about hypnosis and hypnotherapy. When we delve deeper within, sometimes we don't even have to be in deep hypnosis. We can just become so relaxed as if you know, igniting, when I say evoking, evoking those emotions and recognizing the past. When I look at some of my pictures that I have been taking through the years, it's like, I, it's the same path, it's the same tree, and yet that's different. I am the same woman and yet I have evolved. And I bet you anything, you too have changed. So how do we embrace and express this so it does not become something that you stick it and suppress it and it becomes a part of depression? Because that's what the result is. When not expressed, you're doing what? Suppressing it. And when suppressing so much of it and stacks up, stacks up, stacks up, that's where you come to feel that heaviness without knowing what it is heavy on you. So I wrote something about that actually and realizing that spending time with nature and incorporating this oneness 
self-hypnosis, meditation, in your routine can truly be profound and positive for you and your mental health. First of all, it reduces the stress. By all means, every step you can drop something, you can drop weight, you can drop something that is heavy, you can even talk to the trees and everything. When I say trees, I want to share something. One of the biggest um, visualizations that I do, besides the train and everything, is the mother tree. So today, take a moment, take a piece of paper, and draw a tree, just a simple tree. And with you can put anything you want. You can put branches, you can make it green, you can make it uh, with the snow on it, you can make, put flowers on it, you can put fruits on it, or you can just have a bare tree, no matter what it is. And you will realize when you draw it, how do you draw your tree? Don't think about it. Don't give it a second thought. Just take a piece of paper and just draw a tree. And after you're done, I want you to take a look at the tree. Does it have a bark? Did you put lines inside the bark of the tree? Does your tree have roots? Did you put a ground? Does your tree go up? Or does it expand open? Is it this way? Is it this way? What is on your tree? And recognizing how abundant your tree is, or how thin and elongated it is, or how lightly did you put it, or how dark and heavy. And those are all different indications of how you feel about the tree, which is the mother tree. It is everything about you, your roots from where you come from, how you feel your entire lifeline, your experience from the time that you were born all the way to where you are today. How is it blossoming? Every aspect of those. It's a workshop that I do, as a matter of fact. And this workshop is going to be um, done. I wasn't going to be talking about the workshop, but suddenly it just all came together. Nature, trees, foliage. And... So let me know if you want to participate in this workshop in January. We're going to do this uh, workshop, and it's quite profound. Then we will do it a self-hypnosis right after that. So the path that you walk on, meditating, being conscious, it also creates this synergy between the tranquility within you and nature. Second, it improves your mood. Music, which is auditory. If there is any sense, because where I walk, there's so much sage and eucalyptus. So it opens all my senses that I can smell and I just marvel in nature's scent. So that's another part of the senses. And if you touch something, which we are touching the ground, and if we touch uh, a leaf or something, and at that moment you become one, you are connecting with nature and appreciating all that surrounds you. So in a way, it really does affect your mood. Um, it creates and releases endorphins. Believe it or not, that's another way of increasing endorphins plus you focus in silence you focus your thoughts everything that you want to create everything that you want to do all the things you need to tackle for the rest of the day maybe even words suggestions um, artists become very creative yeah? and it gives you a sense of resilience Yes, that you can overcome any obstacle, you can overcome anything that comes your way. And if you do this walk, 
walking a pet or walking on your own around the block, even on cement, it doesn't matter, just around the block, outside of your home. It helps you sleep better because you're feeling grounded. And above all, this mind-body connection, hmm, it truly becomes connecting from here to your heart, to your body. So in a way, it is the, the power of me, myself, and I, mind, body, heart, and uh, the power of three. And I like to call it the power of the three, just like a triangle, because the bottom is the base, it's the core, it's the grounding, it's so solid. And then what happens is as we become this do two poles like a tippy right and it's powerful sitting like this and the tip that points above to the sky to your north star always facing up when i do hypnosis it's not always um, a dialogue because as my clients are going into this state of relaxation, sitting in the recliner, the music is playing in the background. Even sounds from the outside, sounds of the cars, perhaps people outside, upstairs in the building. There are so many sounds, so many things that are happening around you even within you, the way your heart is pumping, beating, every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body is very much alive. Your pulse pulsating. And yet you're not thinking about any of that until you drift in. And that in itself gives you a sense of connecting with your body. So in fact, every single day, there is a good change happening within you as much as the changes that you consciously make in your life. And if today's message is for you to connect not only with nature, but appreciate and accept yourself, which is embracing who you are far more deeply than ever before. And realizing that when we evolve, we evolve to what it is that we desire by letting go what we no longer want. And that's the steps we take on our path. We always run forward moving forward in life is a natural process that we do because you are the miracle. As a matter of fact, this miracle, which is you, perhaps you had not thought about it, started from the day you were conceived and yes, from the moment you were born. And if no one else has said this to you, you do matter. And you are a miracle. And that was my message for today. So take a moment when you go walking on a path, hiking around the block, even when you're in a supermarket or outside, take one moment, pause. And at that moment, say thank you to your body because you can walk you are aware and you are making choices. So that means consciously and subconsciously, you just made a decision for a change. And being appreciative of everyone and everything in your life because the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, it doesn't matter. They're just titles. Make us take a moment 
and pause and say thank you for the experiences because without that experience we would not make choices to make changes and i thank you for being here and yes, by all means, I am doing a countdown until Christmas of a day of inspiration, motivation, even dancation. And if you make a comment on my story, you, all you have to do is once. And on December 25th, I will be drawing one name, the ones who have made more comments or have put gift me and text to 818-221-2797. Just say, gift me once, and I've got your name down. And when we do that, I'm going to draw a name. And that person is going to have the biggest holiday gift from me. So, until next week, I bid you goodbye. And walk with intention. Bye-bye. See you next week. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you always. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.